everyone, it's me, Peter at Paradise, and today's video is Good and Bad Hamster Cages. So before I get started, I just want everyone to keep in mind a couple of cage conditions you must follow in picking a hamster cage. Picking a hamster cage. 1. The minimum size. 360 square inches is the minimum for all species of hamster. Remember, the bigger the better, and try and go bigger than the minimum if you can. If you're wondering how you can find out if your cage measures 360 square inches, then a quick useful thing to do is times length by width, and that will give you the amount of square inches. 3. Bar spacing. Now it can range for certain species. A cerium would require 1cm, no bigger, and a dwarf species would require an 8ml size, no bigger. You can house Roverowski hamsters in barred cages, but the bar spacing must be very small and it's more advised not to have Roverowskis housed in barred cages. As you have to remember, they are the smallest species and can squeeze the smallest of spaces. So it's better to house that species in either tanks or bin cages if you can. When it comes to different types of cages, it's important to make sure each one has the right measurements. For a tank, the minimum is 20 gallons, and for a plastic bin cage, the minimum is 105 quarts. These are equivalent to 360 square inches, so are suitable. And I'll be giving you good and bad examples of cages for hamsters. Starting with good types of cages. Barred cages. So what makes them so great? Well, you can get some great sized bar cages for hamsters. They are the best type to give the best ventilation to because of those bars. Another benefit about bars is they could offer a climbing option for hamsters too. They can be good price for the size, but it does depend on what one you get. A couple I highly recommend are the Alexander Hamster Cage. This is sold in Europe. I have this cage and it's huge. It offers more than enough space for hamsters. It has bars, so good ventilation, and they can climb as well. It comes with a couple of different levels to create more space. The cage structure is in two parts, so it makes cleaning easy, and it's a good price for the size. From my experience, I would say it's the perfect hamster cage sold for hamsters. Next, I recommend the Barney Hamster Cage. This is available in Europe. This is like a smaller Alexander cage, definitely the same build, just smaller. It's a great size, has bars for climbing, offers a good amount of space and some levels for more space. It's also easy to clean. Another great hamster cage. Another one would be the Hamster Heaven. This is sold in Europe. This is a good size cage, offers just enough space, has bars, so great ventilation, and they can climb. It also has an added level bit too. Another really good cage. Another one is the Alaska cage. This is available in Europe. This provides great ground space, bars for climbing, good ventilation, an added level bit for more space, and great for the price. And the Mamble 80 or 100 cage. These are both sold in Europe. These are actually rat cages, but they seem to be suitable for hamsters. However, the height is something you want to watch out for. I would suggest hanging different toys from the barred roof, so if the hamster were to fall, they wouldn't fall very far down, and less of a chance of them hurting themselves. But both offer great ground space, easy cleaning because they're in two parts, and both worth it for the price. Going on to leveled cages. Now I'm only going to give you one example as there is only one suitable leveled cage I can find for hamsters and that's the iMac Fantasy Cage with two or more levels. This is sold in Europe. Now I'm not being biased or anything, I generally cannot find any other cage with more levels that is big enough other than this cage. So I have to give this cage a statement. A lot of people think that it's too small, it's not big enough, but actually it is big enough so long as you have two or more levels. One base is too small. With two levels, it does provide enough space, so you will need to buy an expansion pack or more if you're going to buy this cage. With those extra levels, it creates extra space and makes it more adventurous for hamsters, as they have more to explore on. It has bars, so it gives great ventilation, and the cage including the levels is not too expensive either. From my experience, it does make a great hamster cage. Another good type of cage are glass tanks. These can be sold anywhere. They are wonderful cages, you can get large glass tanks at fairly good prices. They give plenty of space for hamsters, easy open access. They provide very smart and sleek displays. Because of that glass, you have a clear view of your hamster and that solid material is great if you have chewers because hamsters can't chew through glass so you're guaranteed no escapes. And a bonus, you can design on the outside of the tank and make them look effective and smart. 
but you will need to provide them with a mesh grid on top so there's ventilation for hamsters to breathe in. So a couple of great glass tanks I recommend are fish tanks. These are available in and outside Europe. The price can range. You can get some really large tanks that provide plenty of space and make wonderful hamster cages. Plus you get that lovely display and clear view of your hamster. Another one are IKEA hacks for the same purpose. These are sold in and outside Europe. And Detolfs. These are available inside and outside Europe as well. Now these are shelves but if turned onto the side and shelves taken out they can make very long and spacious cages for hamsters. Another great option are bin cages. These are available everywhere. Do keep in mind these must have large mesh grids on too to provide a source of ventilation for the hamster. These are brilliant if you're on a budget. They are the cheapest cage to buy and are very easy to make. You can get great sized plastic boxes for cheap prices and mesh is very cheap to buy and put on too so they are cost effective. You will need 105 quarts or bigger to provide enough space and because it's plastic on the outside you have the option to decorate them making them look creative and pretty. Small animal plastic cages. So these are cages with a plastic covering and are sold for small animals. I have two I can find which are suitable. The first one being the Zoo Zone 2. This is sold in Europe. This is actually a guinea pig cage but it's far too small for guinea pigs and is more than suitable for hamsters. This is massive so it provides plenty of space, it's good price for the size, because of the clear plastic it gives a nice clear view of your hamster, it has bars on the top so ventilation is provided, it's easy access because it's in two parts and it's easy to clean. And the next one is the Habitrail Ovo Loft, which is sold in Europe and outside Europe. You will need to have at least two connected together to make them suitable. One by itself does not provide enough space. These are fairly good priced, they have holes on the top so ventilation is provided, so they are suitable. DIY cages. DIY cages are very good. If you have no cages available to buy, then homemade is your best option. Materials should be available in your local area. The great thing about DIY cages is that you can build them and make them however big you want. You can go all the way with creativity. They are quite cheap to make depending on what materials you buy and are just a great option of cage. So now let's get on to bad cages. So there are many types of bad cages out there and I'll be going through a couple of different types of bad cages. So first up is the critter trail cages. Now I have a few examples on the screen here. Any type of critter trail hamster cage is not suitable. They are too small, they don't provide enough space at all. They're expensive for the small size. So please do not buy any of these cages with this brand. Another one are most barred cages. Often a large amount are too small and don't give them the minimum size like these on the screen here. Going on to level type cages. So I have the Harley Fantaser 2 double story hamster home and the Carefresh cage. Cages like these are often advertised for looks to attract young kids and not actually considered about the hamster at all who will be living in this cage. They are both very small, the levels are too shallow to fit even an 8 inch wheel which is very bad and the price is expensive for what you get. I would say these cages are more suited to a toy hamster if I'm honest. Another type would be any of the Rotostack cages. These are far too small and have more tubes than ground space for hamsters. They're expensive for the size too and why buy one of these when you can get something cheaper and bigger? These are not suitable for hamsters. Plastic roofed hamster cages. Ones like the Mini Duna this cage does not give enough space, even with that added level. It's too small for any hamster species, so please avoid buying it. Another one would be the Furplast Combi 1. This is also very small and won't provide enough space for the supplies and hamster, so it's just not suitable. And there are many more unsuitable hamster cages out there, but I'm not going to go through all of them. Rat cages. Most rat cages are too high for hamsters. You can get rat cages that are not very high, quite low to the ground and are not suited for rats. So those would be okay for hamsters. But you do get those high cages, ones like the Freddy 2 rat cage and the Fur Plus Jenny rat cage. And there are many more rat cages which are just too high for hamsters to safely live in. Hamsters can climb but they cannot stabilise their balance very well like rats can because they don't have long tails like rats do to maintain their balance. Hamsters are not rats and are far more fragile so if they were to fall they could hurt themselves or injure themselves when they land or even possibly break their backs 
so I wouldn't risk housing a hamster in one of these. However, if you have no option but to house them in a tall rat cage, then I would suggest to hang different toys from the top bars, so if they do fall, they wouldn't fall very far and have less of a chance of hurting themselves. Tanks. Any smaller than 20 gallons is too small to house a hamster in and won't provide enough space for them to happily live in, so don't go for any smaller than 20 gallons. And last is any insect container. These are not big enough for anything, even an ant, so why house a hamster in one of these? They are far too small for hamsters to live in, and please don't house your hamster in one of these. Be sensible and pick one of the following good cages. So that's the video on good and bad hamster cages. I hope this has helped you and given you a clear understanding of the good and bad hamster cages, and what to look out for when picking a hamster cage. So any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you want to see more of our videos, then go subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye!